Hello everyone, it's uh, this is a new one. Uh, new Tribe 12 has been uploaded, which is odd because it's been, it's been about 10 months since the last one. So this is going to be very interesting trying to remember what exactly has happened um, since Fortunes, I believe. Now in Fortunes, if I remember correctly, Noah was filling everyone in in the fact that he's finding fortune cookies on his house with very cryptic messages. I just, just appearing. Probably from uh, Firebrand. Um, Firebrand being future Noah, which is going to be very, again, very interesting how we inch our way very closer to that. Um, he finds, he found a Milo, Milo? Milo's journal. And the journal has been corrupting him, I suppose, is the best way to put it. It's very... It's missing in his mind, that's for sure. What else? Um, the Observer hasn't shown up at all. Yet. For a while. Um, now, of course, this one's called Death Trap Exodus. And it is very much from the Collective, because it has the... Well, it's just very... The thumbnail is very obvious, it's from the Collective. Um, whether it's from Firebrand or the Observer, we'll see. Uh, Slenderman himself has not shown up for a very long time. Let's see, Bridge to Nowhere was kind of the last time we saw anything. Severance as well. Um, and then Fortunes, which was several months ago. So. I forget, I think the Administrator is what Slenderman is called. If I remember correctly, there was an episode somewhere in there about... Oh, yeah, no, that was... Yeah. I remember the order very well. Anyways, Death Trap Exodus, let's watch this. I'm just gonna frame myself, so that way I can put picture in picture right up here. And... Close this, it's not a distraction for me. Alright.
it is increasingly difficult to defer his host's influence. Our clock runs independently from yours. The longer you wait, the more he plots. My interventions have given me the opportunity to reduce the transmission to you now. Firebrand and the Observer are against each other, still. Um, Observer working on behalf of the Collective, pushing for 
control. Um, still against Noah, very much so. Very much in charge of collecting Noah, that's very clear. Uh, he interrupts the transmission, I suppose, to belittle Noah, very much so. Um, Firebrand, because he's now free from the Collective, thanks to uh, Habit from Everman Hybrid, um, thanks to him being free, he can actively help, and from what I've gathered, has actually unlocked the diary for Noah to read. Now, if I remember correctly, Noah's birthday is November 11th. So, if I had to guess, my guess is that we're going to get a very new Tribe 12 very soon. Because whenever one of the Collective's videos come out, Noah is quick to respond soon afterwards. Now, I can understand why this took 10 months for this to come out, because it's a 7 minute video. Very heavy special effects. I mean, very heavy special effects. So, the fact that it's taken so long makes sense. And I've always, I've always enjoyed its narrative. A visual style. It's got a very vivid visual style. And, and the editing is just flawless. So I do enjoy that. The fact that the fact that this promises more to come is, uh, yeah, I, I like that. It's good for me. What didn't I like? Um, not a whole lot I didn't, actually. Uh, it's very expository, but it makes sense for it to be expository. It makes sense that Firebrand is reaching back in time to tell Noah what's going on, because <laughs> all of these things Firebrand is doing, Noah will eventually have to do when he reaches that point in his timeline. And then Noah's going to turn around and do that to his past self. Time loops are very confusing. But regardless, it seems that Firebrand is trying to teach Noah to not do the things that Firebrand did in his past that he's doomed to repeat because it's a, it's, it's a loop, it's a circle. It's, it's hard to explain. You have to, time travel is very... It's a messy beast. Let's just say that. <sighs> There's not a whole lot I can say because uh, Death Trap Exodus has most of it for me. Uh, it's very clear Firebrand is trying to help. Noah is... not taking the lessons to heart, I suppose. And... It, it, it's creepy. It's very... it's creepy. It's... unsettling, to say the least. But... I do like how they're bringing Kevin into it a little more, and hinting at this, like, kind of very uh, different side series, because it shows... They, they, they show Kevin documenting, I suppose, his own documenting his own demise as he is controlled by the Observer. Um, I would, if there was another series, I would be interested, I suppose. I suppose. Um, Firebrand, Zenoa, and it's just, you get this sense of impending doom because Noah is going to become Firebrand. That's just going to happen, and he's going to be part of the Collective. That's going to happen. And then he's going to be freed from the Collective, and then, and then he's going to be doing all of this to try and mitigate all that. It's very... It's a very intricate storyline, and i got to give props to, uh, to... I forget his name, his real name, but the guy behind Tribe 12, i got to give props to him for attempting such a, such a, I don't want to say convoluted, but definitely complicated storyline, especially from something that started off as a Marble Hornets ripoff. 
quickly became its own thing and is now going so fast in a direction that no one else is trying. And I, I'm the, you know, I know some people like Barbara Lawrence are above what you're talking about. Well, go back to the beginning of the series and tell me it is not a direct homage to Marvel Hornets because I'm looking and it definitely is and at Milo and it starts at Milo's funeral after that it becomes its own thing and very much um, very much a very cool uh, way to take the series I gotta say Very, uh, very interesting. And I am looking forward to a new, a new entry soon. Uh, not entry, but new submission, I suppose. Um, especially since November 11th is Noah's birthday, it is now November 1st. Can we expect to see something new? I hope so. I hope so. Uh, not a whole lot insane. So I'm going to end it here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next submission.